Yo, what is up, guys? It's Bo to the Joe. Welcome to Seven Days Podcast, where I look back on the past seven days. I know it's not Sunday, it's Friday, but I had to. I had to because you know what? I just couldn't wait. I really couldn't wait to work on this. You know, just just do this podcast. I want to be. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, my new uh, my new designer. Um, I'm I'm on my phone right now looking for his Twitter because I'm really bad with remembering names. Uh, his Twitter name is at MikeWell87. This guy, this person is just phenomenal with designs. So that's why with my uh, bragging rights video uh, at the end or the thumbnail, you guys saw. It. Oh my god! And my uh, my prediction video for No Mercy tomorrow on Saturday will be. The thumbnail will look so good. But anyways, let's talk about what happened in the past seven days. Well, let's see. Uh, Friday wasn't really in it that much to talk about, but um, Bountiful Glory was great. I watched it on the live stream, and it was it was it was a good pay per view. At that week, it was better than Monday Night Raw. All right, so I I, I can't give TNA that, but like. We're gonna talk about, you know, that team name I have and a change, uh, a, a massive overhaul basically, and WWE might buy their library. I don't know if that's smart to do that because, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure if they're gonna give WWE their library, they have to change everything and start a new. They can't bring up the past nothing basically like that but um there's a lot to talk about uh jamie noble got stabbed uh in his in his back lower back and then directly in the the middle of his back and all because of a road rage basically um i i find that classless uh gutless because he had the person that stabbed him was with two other people so Jamie Noble was basically in a three-on-one handicap fight and he got stabbed that's that's what happened I just hope that they're not black <laughs> because uh, we're taking so much else as a uh, blasphemous HD would say but regardless um, this whole week I've wa I did not I'm gonna be honest I'm recording this 2 32 p.m. on a Thursday uh, afternoon so I'm not gonna talk about TNA because like not much about TNA or what happened what's gonna happen tonight because well I didn't watch it but I might do a review um, I might have done a review I should say because I'm recording this and uploading this the next day so I might have done a review if I did the link will be in the description box below if not then oh well so <sighs> yeah um, Monday Night Raw this week, I have done a review, uh, you know, the link is in the description box below for that too, I, you know, I, my, my take on Raw, like, everybody's making it a big deal, oh, Sasha Banks won the women's title again, I get it, title change, everyone loves the title change sometimes, but, to me, it's like, okay, I did, I did know, I, I had a feeling that she would win back the title, but I was hoping that the Queen my girl Charlotte will retain, but nope. Uh-uh. Nah, that didn't happen. So, I'm just sitting there like, okay, what's going to happen now? She won the title in L.A. I really do do not like L I want to move to L.A. later on in my life. But at the same time, I don't like Los Angeles. Mainly because, you know, the, the Blood and Crips started there and... Then the cocaine drug started there also. Uh, Los Angeles got a lot of bad shit there. That's why I'm like hesitant to think about that, you know. But um, a lot of shit been happening this past, in the past couple of days. There's something going on about clowns. Clowns are just scaring kids. It's actually in Toronto also. Like, um, it happened somewhere in, like, if you live in Toronto, then you might know this street. The street called Ossington. Uh, there was a clown spotted, and they were 
they were uh, they were just scaring kids. Now, to me, I would love to know how would a clown survive in the hood. I dare any clown to go in the hood and try to scare any person from the hood because your ass gonna get shot, stabbed, mugged, anything in that category, you're fucked. I'm, I'm a little challenge out there. Go to the hood and you're gonna see how you're gonna survive there. Just saying. But, anyways, um, Lucha Underground, I watched Lucha Underground a little bit. Um, uh, Cage and I can't, I, 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 I can't remember his fucking name. The Tuxedo, Tech, yeah, Tuxedo, is that his name? Yeah, that guy. Cage 2 0 so far. Prince Puma earned a title shot against the champion. I don't, I can't pronounce his name or forget. I can't remember. I'm so bad with fucking names. It's not even, it's not even funny. But, um, yeah. Uh, basically, they had the championship match. And then Prince Puma, you know, he did some nasty shit. And then uh, he did some sick shit. I can't really remember exactly. But then he, uh, what I can remember is the ending. He hit. The 630, right? When he hit the 630, I was like, okay, that's it. He's won the title. But then the other guy, the other big dude that used to be the world champion, used to be on his throne, right? Remember? Um, that big dude. Yeah, right? With uh, that girl from that used to be in that crappy NXT, uh, Maxine, right? He came through and screwed Prince Puma out of the title. But... The, uh, the the boss, the I, I think he's the chairman or something, he's the boss of Lucha Underground. He was like, nope, referee, do not call for a disqualification, no disqualification. And then the champion took advantage, hit his finishing maneuver, it looked like a, it was like a fireman's carry into a, 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 into a, a world's strongest slam type move, but it was like a spinning side slam type, it was like that. Um, like think of the world shining slam, but spinning and they just drop him, right? So yeah He did that and then he retained the title I was like that motherfucker but um Yeah Solomon Crow was there Talking about nobody puts his hands on this girl. I'm like this girl looks I can't remember I'm so bad with names. I swear. I can't remember her name but like she is wearing gold pants at the t uh, on that episode, and she looked fucking good. But um, her opponent was like crazy. She had ponytails and shit, and then I feel like she—it was like she was Rosemary with a mask, you know? Like it, it was that insane. But um, yeah, we had and, and at the beginning of the show we had that Darius of Doom. Also, yeah, that was uh. Uh, that 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 thing it's so it's so good to watch you know lucha underground is just entertaining to watch but you know besides all that uh so yeah monday night raw like i said the women's division it sucks badly it really really sucks it sucks badly i i know i've been saying this for the past couple of days i'm beating it with a dead horse or whatever the saying is but it's true all I've seen is Nia Jax, Bailey, Charlotte, Sasha. Four, or maybe even five, if you count Nita Brooke, five out of the six active women's wrestlers on the show, I've seen five of them. Like, seriously. I I just can't take it anymore. I, uh... Uh, Sasha Banks winning the title. That's not fun. That's not fun again to me. That, that's just boring. It's like, okay, she won the title again. Yay. She's going to walk around and say she's the boss. And then she's going to go to Hell in the Cell in her, bo in her hometown in Boston. And she's going to retain if they give. Look, I'm not happy that they're going to do this again with Charlotte, this match. Because, like, if, cause like, if people are going to give this match praises, but yet... They give John Cena and Randy Orton shit. Okay. I see how you guys are. No, 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 no. You can't say shit now. You can't say shit now. 
if these people would be like, oh, greatest feud ever, Sasha and, and, and Charlotte, no, nah, no, nah, if you do that shit, I swear to God, I'm gonna call you guys down and be like, hold on, so, we've seen the same fucking shit for the past, fuck, for the, for the majority of the year, and nobody gives a shit, yet. When Cena and Orton go at it, even though when they go at it, it's barely been like, like think about it, 2009, right? They feuded from from June to October. Okay, June to October. All right, so July, August, September. Okay, that's like three to four months. All right. These fuckers has been going at it since fucking Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Think about it. That's when she came back. Sasha Banks came back on TV. She came back, confronted Charlotte that she wants the Divas title at the time. So she came and she's like, oh, I want the title. And after she had to go through Becky Lynch and was left for that triple threat. And then Sasha been gone for a cup for like a month and a half. And then she comes back and she's like, I want a title shot even though she didn't earn it. And she got it anyway. And then she, she competed and then she got screwed. And then after, it, it, it just kept going at Bailey, and after winning the title on Raw, the new era, uh, after the draft, and then it kept going, and going, and go. It, it's just a cycle. It's like, Sasha versus Charlotte repeat. Sasha versus Charlotte repeat. Like, I, I, I can't. Um, and yet, people don't get, people give John C. the Randy Orton shit, alright? Uh, all right, 2009, they went at it for three to four months. Fucking Sa Sasha and Charlotte have been going at it for the past nine and a half months. What is worst? Think about that real quick. Remember that. For nine and a half months, they've been going at it. All right? Like, straight. Straight. For nine or eight and a half months, they've been going at it straight. All right? Fucking Cena and Orton. Uh... Let's see, 2007, that was when Randy Orton was supposed to win the WWE title, but Cena got injured in uh, October, right? And then after 2008, he came back, won the Royal Rumble. They went at it again, but it was a short feud because it went from uh, February to freaking April. That was like, that's like two and a half months to three months right there. And after they rejoiced and, and then after they feud again, 2009. And in 2014... They only had, no, 2013, they had, uh, they had, like, what, a, a month feud for the Undisputed Championship, and then, um, like, a month, no, a month or two month feud, and then that ended after the Y family got involved, and then after they had a Hell in the Cell match, which, la which was a three-week feud, they had a Hell in the Cell match, uh, 2014, and that's it. That's the last time we see Cena and Orton go at it. So... They went at it for at least a year or a couple of years because if you think about it, uh, Cena and Orton, they go at it uh, by months. These fuckers have been going at it for nine months. Well, yes, collectively, all together, Cena and Orton, they went at it, what, from fucking, from August, September, October, so two and a half months, and then... Uh, that was 2007, and then after 2008 was like two and a half, three months, and then after 2009 was three to four months, and then after 2013 was two and a half months, and then after fucking 2014 was a month and a half, okay? So, collectively, that's like about what? Huh? A year and a, a year some change, right? Around there? Look, what I'm trying to say is, people give praises for this, but yet, when they look back on Cena and Orton, they're like, oh my god. How oh, they're gonna fight for 125 times. Ugh. I'm sick of this. No, 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 no. And yet, if I come out and say, I'm sick of this shit, I'm gonna get crap for that. So, that's bullshit in my eyes. Uh, I'm just gonna end it there. Think about that. Think about that. Alright? Just think about that. Oh, yeah, people give shit about Cena and Orton. But yeah, when it's Sasha and Charlotte, it's a different story. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure. Okay. So, 
Yeah, that's it for Raw. I mean, besides the funny segment on the night, which I already went over, like, yesterday and fucking Monday, that Jericho, New Day, jumping over the shark, when was the last time he jumped over anything, and then they had a taxi match with Seth Rollins' costume, and then, yeah, Roman Reigns and Rusev, uh, forget it. Um, so SmackDown, um, uh, Randy Orton playing mind games, but he got fucked because he got Bray Wyatt in a crate, but Bray Wyatt's like... You know, he was taking Sister Abigail, and Sister Abigail uh, brought him out of the crate. Randy Orton went back. He's like, where the fuck did he go? <laughs> like, you know? Um, yeah, uh, I can't wait for that. Just to end this feud, I want it to end. But at the same time, you know, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued. It's just that I want it to end at the same time. It's like, okay, I see what they're doing. I like this shit. But I want it to end because... <sighs> Please, please. I don't want people to keep shitting on it more and more and more, you know? So, yeah. Um, the women, you know, they. I care about all of them. I care about Naomi and, and all of them. Oh, wait, by the way. Oh, I, I just remember this. Evelina! What the fuck? So, we have Eva Crappy Wrestling Marie on SmackDown. We have Eva Marie version 2 with Mandy... Who I think is better than Eva Marie on NXT. Now we have Emelina. 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 What in the actual fuck is this? Huh? What happened to Emma from last year? What happened? What happened to the, the glove, the glasses, huh? The badass attitude, huh? What happened? It's all about me. What happened to that? Now it's all about fucking... I mean, I knew she was a hot woman, but at the same time, now she's just showing it off. Like, yeah, yeah, look at my abs. Look at that. My abs. I, my my uh, my chest is all out. I have no ass, though. But uh, but still, you know, I got the, the, the things up here, but my abs are fantastic. Like, uh, what, what is this? Well, Emelina, that is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Emelina, okay, my name is Jimmy now. No longer Jim, it's Jimmy now. It's Jimmy, no longer Emelina. What in the fuck? Oh, why fix nothing? Why, why try to change something that's not a problem? You're telling me, oh my lord. Oh, what's next, huh? Paige, Paige, when she returns, she gets a gimmick change too? And she's going to be all about being a diva now? And not fucking being an anti-diva? Is, is that what we're going to get next? Fucking assholes. Oh, my lord. Ah. I'm Alina. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, I'm going to talk about this Goldberg situation. I, I was thinking about this. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of people talk about this. I'm just... I thought about it just now. I'm like, you know what? Okay. I'm going to shut this down now. If Goldberg comes back, which I want so bad. Okay. I want him. I want to see him on my TV or my laptop at this situation for the first time live. Instead of going back on the network and watch. Right? I want to see him live right in front of me. Right? Well, like, he's in the ring and he's cutting a promo or not. Shit like that. I want to see him back. But I think WWE's at the point where they could they could bring him back, you know? I'm pretty sure if WWE's able to bury the hatchet with Hart, Warrior, Sting, you know, hopefully CM Punk in the future. But you know what I mean? Like, if they're able to bury the hatchet with Hogan and, and, and Bruno San Martino and shit like that. Then hopefully Goldberg will be the next one, and then after that will be CM Punk later on the in the in the years. But I feel I feel like CM Punk's gonna stay in UFC for a while, a long while. Because even though he got his ass kicked, he still enjoyed what he did. So um, hopefully that there will be a point where he's like, you know what, you know what, maybe if Vince McMahon offers me a good ass deal, then I'll come back. You know, shit like that. But yeah, Goldberg uh, coming back. I thought of this right now. If Goldberg comes back to fight Lesnar at Survivor Series, which I 
pretty much can't go because the fucking money is expensive. I'm not about paying two hundred dollars. I'd rather buy a fucking gaming console <laughs> than fucking go to Survivor Series. Nah, uh, I I will go to NXT though. NXT Takeover. I will go to that one more than Survivor Series because I'd rather watch Survivor Series on the network than go there because at this point it's a lot of money. They they fucking released tickets when I wasn't even working back in the summer. So, uh. But NXT, I will try to get those tickets, um, hopefully. I can't go to Raw because uh, I'll be working that day, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, Goldberg, if he comes back, right, and he fights Lesnar, here's the thing. If he comes back and he fights Lesnar at Survivor Series and lose, because at this point, you really can't beat Brock Lesnar. I mean, he all the all the shit he's done. You can't beat Lesnar. They have to have some interference in this match where there was no decisive winner, and then they 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 escalated to WrestleMania. Because seriously, if Goldberg loses clean or just loses at all at Survivor Series, then it will diminish everything Goldberg was or the hype that people try to bring for Goldberg when he gets back. Because if he comes back and he's all like, ah, and he's like, Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg's back in WWE. And then Goldberg's in the ring cutting his promo. Brock Lesnar is next again, right? Shit like that. He comes back and he, and Brock Lesnar comes out and they have a stand, a stare off, a stare down and, Shit like that, and they have their match of Survivor Series, and Lesnar just beats Goldberg. It will just diminish everything about Goldberg. It's like, this Goldberg ain't shit. He comes back talking about beating Brock Lesnar again. He got his ass kicked at Survivor Series. The fuck you talking about? No one's gonna, like, give Goldberg that much of respect anymore. Everyone, it's gonna, they're gonna lose respect for Goldberg at that point. Uh, so, my, the thing is, I want him back... But I don't want him to fight. And that's the thing. If he comes back and he fights someone else. Maybe a young superstar. It's going to. And he wins. It's going to diminish him. Uh, it's a lose-lose situation. If they bring back Goldberg to wrestle. If you think about it. it unless it's John Cena. Then I don't, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is going to take the bait. For Goldberg and, and lose. I, I don't think anyone else. Because if you're John Cena. Or someone that's at a point where it will not diminish their career. If they take a loss to Goldberg. You know John Cena to me fits that category. Or Roman Reigns. You know I would love to see Goldberg beat the fuck. Out of Roman Reigns. But that, 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 that's, that's just me. You know or maybe. Maybe, you know, Triple H comes out and he finally explains why he turned his back on Rollins. And after Foley comes out and he's like, you know what? I got a little gift for you. Stay right there. And then Goldberg comes out. Goldberg comes out. And then they re they re they uh, restart their feud. And after, I don't know. I don't. I, <laughs> this is a bad choice right now. This is a mistake. I want him back. Trust me. Believe me. I want him back. But at the same time, no. Because if he comes back and he beats Lesnar, it will diminish everything Lesnar has done. If he loses to Lesnar, it will diminish everything he's done. And then if he defeats a young superstar, it will diminish that superstar having a chance to rise up in WWE. And... Uh, if he loses to that young superstar, I don't know what will happen there. So, I I don't know. Maybe the Royal Rumble might be the best place for, for uh, Goldberg to come back. Because when he comes back, he can just spear people. You know, do his jackhammers, eliminate a lot of people. And after when it comes to a big threat, he gets eliminated by then. I don't know. I don't know. So... That's my that's my take, my two cents on Goldberg if he comes back to WWE. He needs something where it will not diminish either man. I think he should fight John Cena. 
It wouldn't make sense. It's like, why John Cena? Why not Brock Lesnar? Because he already fought Lesnar. He beat Lesnar. He doesn't over Lesnar rematch. That's one. And number two, it would diminish everything Lesnar's done. It will prove that Lesnar could be anyone else. But when it comes to Goldberg, he's a little bitch. Simple as that. Think about that. If Goldberg beats Lesnar, the streak beating up John Cena at SummerSlam, fucking that crappy match against Ambrose, you know, the matches against Undertaker at SummerSlam and Hell in the Cell and beating Big Show at Madison Square Garden back in October last year and all the stuff he done, Suplex City, main event WrestleMania last year. All of that will be diminished if he loses to fucking Goldberg. Because it's like, he could beat The Undertaker, John Cena, Big Show, all these guys. But yeah, when it's Goldberg, he's a little bitch. He can't beat Goldberg. So, it's a lose-lose situation. It's bad for business. Uh. So, I, I that's just my t two cents on that shit. <sighs> uh, SmackDown. No mercy. No mercy. I will not give my predictions because I want to use the thumbnail so bad. Uh, so I'm going to save that for another video. I'm sorry. I really want to use the... I really want to give you guys my predictions, but I'm going to wait Saturday tomorrow because I just want to use the thumbnail. It's better that way for me, in my opinion. So, uh... I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, let's talk about SmackDown stuff. Uh, SmackDown, like I said, the women I care about so much. Um, more than Raw. I care about Naomi. I care about everyone, but even Maria, of course. Uh, actually, I care, but like I want to see her succeed. But she's she's at the diva level. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm upset. I'm not upset that she's there. And, you know, I know she can barely wrestle. I, I get that. I mean, look at Miz. You know, he can barely wrestle. Yeah, he's he's at, he's at the best point of his career right now. I'm I'm not saying that because everyone else is saying that. I actually witnessed, and I remember everything he's done in the past. He is actually doing better than all those years. He is doing better. The Miz is doing better than his WWE title reign. His WWE title reign was awful to me. What did he do? He beat Randy Orton because the Nexus beat up Randy Orton earlier. And then after he faced Jerry Lawler in a TLC match for the WWE title. And then Michael Cole cost him, cost Jerry Lawler the chance to win that title. And then The Miz defeats Randy Orton in a tables match at TLC. Then he fights Randy Orton again at the Royal Rumble. And he beats Randy Orton at the Royal Rumble thanks to CM Punk and the Nexus. And then after he defeats Jerry Lawler again at at an Elimination Chamber pay-per-view for the WWE title in a one-on-one -on -one match, right? I think Michael Cole got involved in that one too. And then he made events WrestleMania in the worst WrestleMania of all because I look back, the only match that everyone cared about was Triple H and Taker. I don't think any other match that was there, anyone else cared, right? So I think Triple H and Taker, maybe Edge and Del Rio too, because they were the first match of the night, which was a bad mistake. But at the same time, you know, shit like that, I think those were the only two matches people cared about. Everyone else didn't give a fuck. I mean, The Rock was there doing his whole stick, which took a long-ass time. And The Rock was the main thing at the end of the show. It was just ridiculous. But, uh, you know... And after he walks out on Raw the next night, gets in Stone Cold's face, and after Stone Cold beats up Riley, and then Miz runs away like a fucking coward. And then after Miz, you know, defends the WWE title in a triple threat um, steel cage match, which he loses to John Cena the same day that Osama Bin Laden died, right? And then after Miz tried to regain the title in so many ways, he said, I quit to John Cena. Exactly. You see what I mean? Does that sound impressive to you? Does that sound impressive to you? Oh, he beat Randy Orton. Yay. Twice. Yay. <laughs> Does that and he beat Jerry Lawler too. Yay. Thanks to Michael Cole. Does that sound impressive to you? No, it does not. Okay? So his career now. 
him the miss be the miss now is way better than 2011 and 2010. Suppose that. Even though yes, 2010, Miz won the unify the unified tag team titles, the United States title for the second time, won Money in the Bank, and then won the WWE title. Miz has won four things that was important in 2010. But you know what I mean. So the Miz, you know, he was just uh, he was just awful back then. But now he's doing better. The documentary was hilarious. The Spirit Squad came out, I'm like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> and if the Ziggler, you know, I thought Ziggler was going to join in, but not. He he was just standing there like, what in the actual fuck? And after he got beat up, but then he hit up with the super kicks, and after he was standing tall. So, that was basically it for uh, the documentary, and then AJ Styles and Cena and Ambrose. Ambrose and Cena just, no, Ambrose and AJ tore John Cena apart, they were just saying, you know, you're going to come out and say the, old, the same old, same old, you know, AJ getting mad at Cena trying to tie Ric Flair's uh, record, and Ambrose is like, you know what, I'm going to be me, I ain't going to kiss your ass, alright, I'm not going to do that stupid politicking crap, alright, I'm going to stand back here while you be you, while you be play the character on TV, right? Uh, and that was just, th that promo, oh my god, those, those two just tore John Cena limb from limb, alright, <laughs> they, 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 they tore him apart, and Cena's like, you know what, fuck this shit, and they just beat up Ambrose, and after, uh, he threw us out AJ, and then AA's Ambrose, and then uh, Styles came back in with a phenomenal form, and after, uh, AJ Styles was sending us with the title, and then Ambrose came out of nowhere, blindsiding AJ, and then just hit him with the the deeds and it's uh, standing tall with the championship and that's what's good so yeah that's my take on um, smackdown everything else uh i i so yeah guys what do you guys think of uh, this past week a lot of crazy shit a lot of rumors uh like i said tna gets a massive overhaul they need to change everything you know the name and everything but what do you guys think leave a comment down below i'll be out of here guys leave a like subscribe now for more fundamental that boards with you thank you for watching and i am out later